so today I'm going to unbox Orange Caramel's Try to Follow Me or my coffee cat. Um, I actually filmed an unboxing for this a few weeks ago, like during Halloween actually. Uh, but uh, when I got the album, even though I got it from M Wave Shop, I didn't get it signed and I didn't even get a pin for it. So I, I was like, M Wave messed up again <laughs> in, the, in their orders. But then I forgot to upload it anyways. And then a few... Like this week, I got a package, and I thought it was something else, cause I, I, cause like I don't remember anything coming in the mail, anyways. But then um, I got this, the pin, in the mail separately, like in a whole. It was like a big box that could fit a small, like a jewel case album or something, and it came. It this came out of it, so it was, I was sort of excited and sort of disappointed. <laughs> I mean, why would they send it separately, you know? But yeah. So I'm gonna. F so I decided to film an unboxing again to show the pin. So here's the pin. Now the pins they're doing are like really small. They used to do those like giant pins. Now they're doing smaller pins. They're still bigger than regular pins, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. Just a regular old pin. And the album is here. It's super shiny and it's super clean. And I love the songs. And and I just love the whole concept. I love their music video, the live performances, their outfits. In their live performance, does the dance, everything is just like perfect. With this Catalina was perfect too, I think. I really like these two <coughs> things. Although, for Catalina, people can argue that them being sushis were a bit disturbing. I thought it was funny. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so this is the CD. It's super shiny, which is nice. And the packaging is the same as Catalina's packaging, except that this is, again, Super glittery and shiny. I don't know if you can see it in the video though. So yeah. Oh, the image at the bottom is like this. It's pretty cute. And then there's that. And the photo book comes out. Um, it's a pretty like floppy photo book. Which is good. Makes it easier to flip through. and Yeah. And I like that the photo book is separate, separated from the album. Because again, it makes it easy to go through the photo book, and it's not like a big hassle, you know, trying to like look at the photos without damaging the album and stuff. So, yeah. And their things too, they're like handwritten and then printed, of course, but it's nice. I like it when they do that instead of like literally like printing out, like typing up the letter. It makes it feel more genuine and nice. So, yeah. And even Nana, like, I used to be annoyed by Nana. <laughs> I didn't really like her at much at first, not gonna lie, for a few years, actually, like, with after school and stuff. But then, I don't know, I was watching Roommate, and surprisingly, a lot of people, like, started hating on Nana. And I started, like, liking her in the Roommate, though, because I thought it was really genuine and funny and kind of crazy. And, yeah, I like it. I like her. And my orange camera bias, I was always stuck between... Reina and Lizzie, but I finally decided who my bias is, is Lizzie. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so for the photo card, I got Reina. I got this version. I think there's two different versions, I'm not sure. But yeah, I got this version of Reina. And I'd like to trade it for any version of Lizzie. So if you'd like to trade, please let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.